In this video, we're going to look at some questions and road signs that you could be asked at the start of your driving test. Let's start with a question on steering. How would you check that your power steering is working properly? So when the engine is off, the steering is going to be stiff and it will probably lock. So once you switch on the engine and you move the wheel, it should move freely, easily and without any vibrations or stiffness. You could also check your steering in a safe and quiet area while you're on the move. So if you feel that your car pulls to one side while you're driving, it could be down to improper wheel alignment or improper wheel balance. It could also be possibly due to an issue with uneven uh, tire pressure, a worn suspension part, or perhaps an issue with the uh, brake pads. But if you feel that your steering is not working the way it should, then make sure you consult a qualified mechanic. Our next question then is to do with the handbrake. How would you test that your handbrake is working properly? So park your car on a hill in a safe area. Um, press the foot brake firmly while your car is in neutral. Let down the handbrake and then pull back up the handbrake. Let go of the foot brake. The car should hold and the handbrake should remain up in a secure way. If you notice anything unusual, such as a kind of a shaky sound or a looseness to do with your handbrake, make sure you consult a qualified mechanic. Our next question is to do with cycle lanes. What's the difference between a cycle lane with a solid white line and a cycle lane with a broken white line? So a cycle lane with a solid white line is mandatory and other drivers are not allowed to use this cycle lane with the solid white line unless it's an emergency or possibly for access in and out of a house or in and out of a premises of some sort. If it's a cycle lane with a broken white line, then this is still reserved for cyclists, but drivers may use it temporarily if there's no cyclists there. For example, um, to overtake um, an obstruction or a hazard, or again for access or for an emergency. Drivers may park in a cycle lane with a broken white line up to 30 minutes, but only if there is nowhere else suitable to park and if they need to load or unload goods. Be aware of information plates nearby to do with a cycle lane with a broken white line, as these information plates may tell you the times uh, and the days that the cycle lanes are in use. Next question. What do you do if you see two flashing red lights? This means that a train is coming and you're at or very close to a level crossing. So make sure you stop for the train and obey all local signs, markings and traffic lights. So let's look at some signs now. Um, the first one here, number one is a clear way. So no parking or stopping during the time shown. Number two is no entry. Number three is a pedestrianized street. There would probably be an information plate saying the times that it's pedestrianized as well. Number four is the rural speed limit sign. So it's saying that the speed limit is 80 kilometers, but you must drive with due care and consideration and be aware of uh, potholes, humpback bridges, bends, things like that. Number five is a hospital sign. Number six is a loop road. This is a long circular road that you will often find on flyovers or at large intersections. Number seven is a series of dangerous bends ahead. Number eight is a warning. It's saying to you, be alert, there could be a concealed entrance or some other type of hazard or unexpected um, obstruction up ahead. Number nine is a two-way street. Note the colour is orange, so it's probably due to some kind of roadworks. Number 10 is an advanced stop sign. It's giving you advanced warning that there's going to be a stop sign up ahead. Number 11, advanced yield sign. In a similar way, it's giving you advanced warning of a yield junction or sign up ahead. Number 12 is a level crossing protected by a gate or a barrier. Always remember, 
The theory and road signs is just a small part of the driving test. Even if you get lots or all of the questions and road signs wrong, it does not mean you fail. You will lose a mark, but you won't fail. You can still make it up in the rest of the test. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll be back very soon. See you next time. So the power steering should be stiff. The power steering should be stiff. How does that make sense? So once you switch on the engine, what, what, and you, oh, It could also be possibly due to an issue with uneven uh, tire pressure or